Hello everyone, welcome to day 11 of 30 days of iPhone programming tutorials. Now today we'll be learning about depth and specifically when you have multiple objects in your views and you want to control whether certain views are in front of certain other views. So we're just going to get right into this um, and I'll show you how to do this uh, in Interface Builder and how to control how deep your items go, if that makes any sense. But I'll show you guys so you'll see. Uh, go ahead and do your viewcontroller.h uh, we're going to be using two buttons for this, so just go ahead and do IB Outlet UI button, uh, button 1. And we're just going to duplicate this, uh, and we can call that button 2. Now for the IB Actions, um, we're just going to do button 1 pressed, and we're going to do button 2 pressed. Go ahead and save that, head into your viewcontroller.xib. I'm going to change this to 3.5, and we'll add in the two buttons. I'm just going to change this, uh, we'll do 90 by 90. I'm going to change this to a custom button, take away the text, and I'll just make this red. And I'm going to duplicate that with Command D, and I'm going to make this one uh, blue. There we go. And we're just going to keep them um, overlapping like that so we can actually see whether or not or which view is in front of the other. Uh, then I'm going to attach the button 1. Make sure you keep this consistent, button 1 pressed with button 1. And we're going to do touchdown for these events because um, it makes a little bit more sense in this scenario. Uh, go ahead and save that. Head into your... go ahead and copy these actually. And head into your .m. We're going to bring these in. And it's a simple line of code, just to see how depth all works. Um, Self.view, bring subview to front, we're going to do button 1 for this one. And for the other one, we're going to do the same thing, but button 2. Now what this is going to do is, it's going to change which view is overlapping the other view. So if you go and, if you wanted to do it from here, you could do product, um, or editor, arrange, and send to front, and you see now it's overlapping the blue view. That's exactly what we're doing here with the code, and that's just how you can do it from Interface Builder. So again, you can go arrange, uh, send to back, or send to front. And we're just going to build and run. So now depending on what I click, um, the which view is in the front will change between the red view and the blue view, and that is pretty much all there is to it. So you can change programmatically um, which view is in the front from the code and you can also do it in interface builder when you're first building your views and everything uh, this is how you do it so thank you all for watching and I will see you all tomorrow the source code for this project as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com